Hey guys, welcome to Mondays Every Day, and today I'm going to teach you how to build a fancy shoe rack. Uh, this is my first time trying it, and it turned out pretty well. Believe it or not, these were uh, rounded by hand. My wife said we needed one, so I decided to make one. It's very easy and enjoyable. It only took about an hour or so. I did use a, a half an inch uh, birch plywood. Um, worked pretty well, it looks very nice. I will probably put a finish on this. And um, basically all you need is a two by four, two feet by four feet uh, birch plywood. It all fits in there very nicely. I'll put in the plans. I'll put down the plans and the dimensions on the description below. And let's get started. So what you're gonna need is a 24 by 48 uh, plywood. Just one sheet will be enough. Uh, here's a diagram. Um, I did, the shelves are gonna be nine inches uh, in depth and they're gonna be, the sides are gonna be 20 inch tall as you can see and the little lip is gonna be five inches at the top. So I first started drawing my lines out onto the board to start making my cuts. Now you're gonna get two little pieces of extra in the triangles and a three inch piece at the end that I'll probably use for some other project. Now you are gonna see a difference of um, how I did the two tops, how I draw them out back to back. Um, you do wanna draw them back to back and you wanna cut them back to back. Uh, just in case if uh, you miss any of the cuts, they'll actually match up with each other. Now, make sure you always clamp down your board. And uh, since I don't have a, a rail, um, I had to make my own. So I always clamp down my straight edge and uh, just cut right along with it. And I repeat this for every single cut. At this point, I just prefer to cut the extra pieces out and then I'll give it uh, some more time for the specialty cuts. Then you can see my my circle saw decided to give a nice rough splinters to the board. Um, if you have a table saw, this shouldn't happen to you, but it did to me. And it doesn't matter, I took care of them after. Um, you'll see that I just sand them out real quick. Now that we got all the cuts done, um, I do want to give it some style and I want to make these uh, some round corners. So I grabbed the first thing that was uh, an actual perfect circle and was uh, a raid can. So you just grab it, you make sure you are on the dirty side or the side that you're not going to use. and round off the top two corners for the side pieces and also round off the bottoms of the shelf. This is completely optional. I decided to go with the, the parts that are gonna be on the outside of the shelf. Um, I decided to round them off to make it just look better and so you won't uh, be hitting anything with the corners or whenever you go grab a shoe, it won't get stuck in a corner.
Now, um, I decided to go old school and try to cut these little pieces down with my handsaw. Since I do not have any other power tool for this matter. And I did not want to take my saw to it because it had already done quite the damage on splinters. But my handsaw was actually pretty great. It cut them down and then I figured I'll just grab the rest and uh, just sand down the, the corners to try to make them perfect. Then with my sander, uh, my small mighty sander, um, with patience, you just start sanding them down. I used a uh, 60 grit uh, paper on it, and it was quite effective. It left it very nice and smooth, no more splinters on any corner, and I got them to round off by hand. And as you can see, um, Here's where I take care of the splinters that my saw left. It was very easy. Just did every side of every board. And actually left it very smooth and I was very pleased with it. Now I'm drawing down where the shelves are going to be. And is 6 inches from the bottom. Um, you count 6 inches up. Then you make your marks. And you're just going to have a 2 inch gap at the top which is fine. That's the whole purpose. And make sure you put both boards flush at the bottom and then transfer your lines across so you know exactly where they're gonna be. Now I know there's better ways of transferring uh, lines from one side to the other side of the board. What I did was just mark down where I was going to put my pins to hold down the board and just do them on the other side to make sure I won't miss the board. I did put some glue on it um, just for the sake of holding it down just a little bit. because I will be using pins mainly to hold down the board. And also I just put some guiding pins first and then once I did the other side and it was all nice and straight, I put more, more pins everywhere. Now make sure that your boards are always straight. It may get a, a little bit of a jiggle because you don't have the other side yet, but as soon as you put it on the other side, they're all gonna end up very straight. And from here on, it's very simple. Just repeat the process for every shelf, put some glue, then just put your guiding pins, and keep going. Now when you're putting glue and when you're putting the, other, the last side, um, make sure you are flush with the table and the boards are flush with the table. So the boards will be actually against the wall whenever you put it against the wall. And that way they line up on the front as well. 
make sure you follow your pins your guided pins where you drew them before and you should not miss any of them make sure it is also level to the floor and put some extra pins wherever you need And there you go, the shelf is done. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to make sure you watch my next videos and leave me a comment. Let me know how your shelf turned out.